Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for another little radio video. Hope everyone is doing good today. As you can see by my little clock there, it's 22 hours 30 minutes UTC or 4.30 p.m. my local time here in southern Illinois. Today's video I want to talk a little bit more about this little box right here. This is the MFJ 1026 Deluxe Noise Canceling Signal Enhancer. Now if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that for about a year I was having trouble with a bad electric pole somewhere down the road. We're about two or three miles outside of town and there's two or three miles of electric poles running down the road because we live on almost 40 acres of land surrounded by a thousand acres of farmland and it's always for the last 30 years since we moved out here it's been quiet until that started and I got this raspy noise but you, you can see those in the other video well they finally last November after I complained to the FCC and calls to the my electric company Southern Illinois Electric Cooperative I guess they finally done something I don't know they had to well they had to have done something because it disappeared in November and it's been gone ever since so now that the noise is gone interference I didn't really use this that much for I don't know about a month and then I started playing around with it and I thought hmm I wonder if I can use this now to uh, boost signals and tweak things and get use out of it and of course it's got the power switch the preamp the preamp is only for your noise sensing antenna and that's always off right there is on and that's off and this is your noise antenna frequency high low I usually turn it on high above 10 megahertz this is your phase control and your normal phase or inverted which is 180 degrees out and this is where my main antenna is my big alpha delta DX ultra it's out in my back field and if you want to see my antennas I got some videos on my page that shows my antennas well what is neat is ever since we moved out of here out here back in 1991 and I put my big antenna up during the day it always seems like the atmospheric noise is higher during the day and um, so I got to thinking well maybe I could use this antenna gain to tweak my antenna my big antenna and uh, make it better so basically this I've turned this into almost a tunable preamp from all the way off to all the way open which is 10 and it, it's pretty cool because if you when we come over here to my radio you'll see this is the ICOM 8600 now you see sorry about the camera work I'm trying to hold the camera and you'll see my waterfall has got a whitish color because it's that's just normal atmospheric noise it's if I tune off the station and turn up the volume it's just normal normal noise so we go back to the station now what I'm going to do is on this box I'm leaving all these alone except for this one so right now I'm full open I'm going to turn that halfway to five and you'll see this waterfall really clear up but my signals will stay so let me start I'm on 10 now I'm going to start backing it up and watch the waterfall clear up you can see it's starting to clear up okay right there I'm on 5 and you can hear this, the station is still fine if I turn it back up to 10 there's all the, no, the, all the atmospheric stuff again turn it back down to halfway that is pretty cool and you, as I said there's no there's no preamp or nothing on see preamp is off 
and all of my signals this is the 31 meter band all my signals are still good see my noise floor is running about two and a half to three up here to see if I WRMI if I turn it up if you notice the signal meter about nine even turn it halfway down getting rid of that noise I don't really lose that much and that's halfway right there and you can see it's all cleared up there's the voice of Greece which is supposed to be ending their shortwave broadcast on March 31st they're gonna be leaving shortwave I hope they don't but the RMI now if I go back here I can also use my loop. Let me turn the loop on. There's the magnetic loop. And there's the dial. Let's go up to uh, 25 meter band. Well, Hang on a second. Go up to the 25 meter band is uh, just go right in the middle. This camera is just really having a time today for some reason. And you can see that it's really it's just nice and clear. Turn the antenna all the way up. It's not bad up here. You really notice it more on the lower bands, 31 meters and lower. It's really useful for that. The upper bands, the noise starts to get less as the higher you go. But let's go to WWV. WWV coming in really good. Turn my antenna back up. Look at that, all the way, that's all the way up. And that's halfway up. Pretty cool, pretty cool little feature. And you know, you can also, I had a noise antenna on here. I put a longer piece of wire on here since the interference is gone. And I can also use this to boost signals because I can have this antenna going one way and my main antenna is going one way and I can combine them and I can boost the signal plus I can change the phase it's almost like having a big antenna big wire antenna rotating which is pretty cool but anyway I just that's just a quick little demonstration I hope somebody got something out of that and that I wasn't rambling too bad but anyway, thanks for uh, stopping by and watching this little video again, and um, I will see you on the next one, whenever that may be. So take it easy, everybody, and uh, we'll see you later.